What a lovely day for football. Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our action comes from EFL League Two. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. We've got the team with the least goals for against the team with the highest goals for. And we'll see how that translates into the match that lies ahead. Yeah, well, the wayside can go for it here. You know, they would sniff a victory, and rightfully so. This is the Macclesfield Town team that's just been announced. And well, we put it up. And what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. He will be furious with himself for such a poor pass. This is how the visitors shape up. It does look more like 4-4-1-1 than 4-4-2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield. And when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre forward, he can supply the bullets, he can get in the box and give his teammates some company. He's put in the corner, and the keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. There's a target at the front post. I had a chance, really, to put that into a much more dangerous area. Has to go down as a poor cross. He could cross it now. It's decent attacking play. Good skill with the ball to beat a man. Well, he took no chances there. It's a corner. And in it goes. It was a promising situation, they could have made more of that. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Goal news from Port Vale. It's a goal for Scunthorpe United. It's been scored by... Trying to slip it through. Off the keeper, back into... The coach promised a fast start. And look what's happened. You've seen that goal and it's really been coming right from the kickoff. Well, it's a classic example of the attacker being on his toes, the defenders trying to react, and they're too late. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Well, we had to break away from Alan McAnally there. Apologies for that. Just to confirm, the visitors have scored, and the game is level at 1-1. Good vision, played over the back of the defenders. Can really get at the opposition here. Trying to spot, goes for goal! And they blocked it then. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal that's just happened elsewhere. It's a goal for Swindon Town. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that. But, oh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. Corner swung in. That's an important clearance. We had to come back here quickly, as you would understand. Sorry to Alan McAnally for that. Let me just... Uh, recap what Alan was saying the visitors have scored in that match and threads it through brave blocking and he's seen the shot it's a goal which really defines the way this team is playing well look at them there they're absolutely delighted it does take a lot of hard work but when you get a reward like that it's well worth it oh don't they look good when they fly in like that could easily have gone anywhere else in the stadium but it's gone where he wanted it to go that's for sure yeah that's the sign of a natural finish up that one touch finish it really was a beauty it is uh, level both sides have scored here now looking to create an opening 
Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Trying to slip it through. All Peters out, rather, for them. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack and the chase. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. He has cleared it well. Armstrong. Now, can he take them on? News of a goal from Exeter. It's a goal for Crawley Town. 29 minutes played, 1-1. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. He's gone in with the header, but the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. Set up to play on the break now. Well, he's actually hit the frame of the goal, but how he hasn't scored from there with such power. Just didn't seem to be concentrating enough. Maybe took his eye off the ball. That's fair play. He's got his body in there and he can protect the ball. Return pass. Threads it through. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems, and certainly not the goalkeeper. Goal news from Morecambe. It's a goal for Crew Alexandra. 32 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Four on the ball. He's got some room out there. Really in the clear now, in on goal. Right in at the goalkeeper, and what a chance. How did he miss it? I think he had too much time to think about it, Martin. It got the better of him. Patient play from them. Intercepted well. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Makes a challenge here. And that will be a free kick. Goal news involving Colchester. It's a second goal for Colchester United. 41 minutes played, 2-1. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Aim for those in the middle. He couldn't have hit that better. Difficult technique. Yeah, and you've got to have confidence to take that on. And he is playing with confidence. Takes a lot of concentration, this kind of volley. And look at him. Eyes fixed firmly on the ball. Gets it all right here. And we restart the game 2-1. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Able to intercept here. No nonsense defending. It was needed. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Gomis. Now there is some space in the wide area. Swung into the box. He's gone in with the header, but the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think he's come off the top of his head, that one. Well, that is half time, and we've reached it at. Here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Armstrong.
Gomez. He could cross it now. He went in well. Yeah, as you can see, the visitors trailing in the possession stakes, but they have played some slick, really beautiful football. He might be through. An excellent chance, more than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. We've got some news of a goal from elsewhere. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Carlisle United. 51 minutes playing. 1-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally. And here's the shot. Shot blocked here. Well, the speculation is over, Alan. The transfer is confirmed. Yeah, the legs are slowing up a little bit, and it's likely to be his last move, this one. Ivanov. Well, apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally there. Just to recap what Alan was trying to tell us, he's got it in behind the defenders for the attack and the chase. Must be a goal! Got to do better than that, really, to beat the keeper. Yeah, because he is a good goalkeeper, good positioning. In goes the corner. No nonsense defending from him. A chance to whip it in here. Rather hoisted into the middle way over his teammates here's a goal from Colchester it's a third goal for Colchester United 59 minutes played 3-1 eagle eyes as always from Alan McAnally thank you Ivanov the target players in the centre they've lost the ball in a bad area surely he must score and the goalkeeper very much on his game today corner swung in now the shot well that's a great block Baldwin it's really passive play at the moment by the defending team. Keeping the ball is one thing, but they've got to try and... A, a real chance here! Just seemed to be a bit too tense at the final moment, and it could have been an important moment for them. Well, I just thought it was careless, actually. Goal news from Morecambe. It's a goal for Morecambe. 66 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. On the attack here. Treads it through. Oh, it really could have been the goal to bring them level. Well, it looked easy, didn't it? He's close in there, getting some stick from the crowd. Really made a hash of that to try and get the equaliser. Holding it up nicely. Now the possibility for a cross. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Intercepted well. Goal news now from Exeter. It's a second goal for Crawley Town. 73 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Cheers, Alan. Now, can he take them on? Successful tackle. Harris. That's cut out. Has to be! They've equalised here. Goalkeeper was reaching for it, and it did actually touch him on the way in. 
I think there was just too much power on the ball, on the shot. For him to get a strong enough touch. Just looking at the tactics of this match, maybe the substitution will hold the key. Brilliant entertainment. The scores are level again. Very tight affair here. To go in front now. Don't you just love football? Late drama, and now they have the lead. Well, no better time. I don't think there's any way back now for the opposition. That looks like the winner. That's the way to fight back, isn't it? You've lost the lead, you're playing away from home, now you're in front again. Well, it's a brilliant response from them, and it's killed the home crowd, and they could go on and win this match now, I think. Very good game, 3-2. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. I'm hearing there has been a goal in one of the other games, and our man Alan McAnally can tell us more about it. It's a goal for the home team, nine minutes remaining. 1-1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Gives it away. Here's Rooney. He's confident. They can finish them off here. Saved by the keeper. He can't hang on to the ball. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Five more minutes here. Maybe the counter-attack is on here. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down on the pitch believe as well here? One of the backup brigade is going to have a chance centre stage. Ivanov. That's a turnover in play. It's so frustrating for them. They're on the attack, they can't break through. And the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Well, no one's picking him up in the wide area. This could be dangerous. And that will clear the danger. You can almost feel the swell of the crowd here as they're urging the team on. Not much time left, but... There is a chance to get in it. This is how they love to play on the break. Got to finish here. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to feel the goal. And he's blown his whistle for the last time. Trying to slip it through. 